hello welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video which is actually two car boot videos in one so when i recorded the first one i didn't know i was going to go to the second car boot sale the first one is from sunday yesterday the second one is from bank holiday monday today i had no intention of going to the car boot sale this morning ended up going so you're getting two for the price of one enjoy so the small halls and then the small halls and then there's really small halls welcome back to my channel welcome to today's really really small haul. I went to Easter Compton car boot sale today. We would have gone to Trench but it was off because I woke up this morning to a lovely wet day. Bank holiday weekend, I don't know why I'm surprised by this but it was very nice yesterday and I had hoped that that weather was set in. Apparently not. Didn't go to a car boot yesterday although there was one on that I could have gone to because I was looking forward to doing two today. Best laid plans. We went to Easter Compton, that's mostly undercover, that was on. There is one tomorrow, might go to that, see how I feel teeny tiny haul. So, got a bag to put it in. Don't bother getting a brew, you won't have time to drink it. Things what I did get, as Lex would say. I got those a packet of bin liners. I mean it's, uh, as you know, it's a rock and roll lifestyle in this size. So we have a Brabantia bin. It's very nice, they're very expensive. It was gifted to us, I didn't buy it. It was, uh, it was given to me by my mum's friend when she changed her kitchen. And it's a lovely bin. Um, but we haven't had the proper bin liners for it for months because they're very expensive but they had them for a pound at the boot sale today so I got us a bag of proper, b b b I can't say it twice, Brabantia, is it Brabantia or Brabantia bin liners? Anyway, that's the glamorous stuff out of the way. I paid four pound for these four items. The lady asked for five, I offered four, she took four. Um, I've got a Flower Fairy alphabet book. Flower Fairy stuff tends to go quite well and these have got very nice illustrations so there's that one and then there is Mother Goose illustrated by Kate Greenaway is that focusing? absolutely not there we go so that's quite nice as well I have no idea of any value on these and then this one is Love is a special way of feeling and it's illustrated by Joan Walsh Angland, who's not anyone I've heard of, I must admit. And her illustrations look like this. So, uh, it's quite a nice little book. It says, love is a special way of feeling. It is the safe way we feel when we sit on our mother's lap with her arms around us tight and close. It is the good way we feel when we talk to someone and they want to listen and don't tell us to go away and be quiet. It is the happy way we feel when we save a bird that has been hurt or feed a lost cat or calm a frightened colt. I don't calm very many frightened colts. Love is found in unexpected places. It is there in the quiet moment when we first discover a beautiful thing, when we watch a bird soar high against a blue sky, when we see a lovely flower that no one else has noticed, when we find a place that shelters us and is all our very own. It's a nice little vintage book. 1960. Nice little vintage book. So those three and... A brand new Weird Fish woolen scarf. Um, it feels like proper wool, bear with. It feels like proper wool, but it isn't. It's 69% acrylic, 31% polyester. So what does Carla know about anything? There we go. I might not have bought that if I'd realised it wasn't pure wool, but we did. We didn't. I did. I don't know why I said we. It annoys me when resellers say we when they mean I. Okay. I bought two Costa Coffee travel cups. This one is the Clever Cup and this one isn't apparently. This one is the Dumb Cup, allegedly. Uh, this one I have seen... No, this is a different one. This one I've seen sell for 10 to £11 used. This one I'm not sure. So they were a pound each. I also paid a pound for these. They're a little bit grubby. They're a lot grubby. They're a big bit grubby. But they're quite nice EPNS salad servers with ceramic handles so they're quite nice quite nice vintage item I don't they don't see any branding on there but I thought they were nice 50p for this Mensa electronic chess battery compartment screwed on so I can't check that and I have no idea what it sells for I also have no idea where my phone is and yet I know it's in the room because I've just heard it got it i do sometimes wonder if the ebay search results are, are just losing their mind 
because that was showing me uh that was showing me aprons i put in pocket chest set and it showed me aprons i can't find that i'll look it up later it was 50p it's not going to be a great loss even if it's not worth anything is it last few bits didn't take long did it? i told you it wouldn't um this was the first thing i bought and i paid three pound for it it's a brand called tan trend and it is another wool scarf so today was a well the other one wasn't wool was it but today was definitely a scarf day it's brand new with its tag hypoallergenic apparently so does that imply not wool again if things are hypoallergenic it's spanish it's 100 percent polyester well if you want anything woolen identified i suggest you avoid me because i apparently don't know what i'm doing I paid three pound for that i think i've paid more money for polyester scarves today than i ought to have done i think this is the way it sometimes goes on a wet day when you're feeling a bit uninspired and there's hardly anyone there you tend to buy a little bit more blindly i think hmm last bits five pound for this bundle from steve the car boot guy's dad i didn't see steve today he didn't seem to be there his dad was running the stall um so for five pounds i got a baby comforter i think this might be a poundland one soft touch brand i've got a feeling that's like poundland or pound stretcher or something like that but it's new with its tag been to the charity shop and not been sold there because it's got a St Peter's Hospice price label on it. All credit to St Peter's, their price labels peel off beautifully. So yeah, one comforter, one Zogs swim vest, sell these fairly consistently. Four of these Clairol conditioners. A National Trust, this has come from St Peter's Hospice as well, National Trust head gardener mug. There we go, National Trust Head Gardener Mug. The Lego Ice Lolly Moulds. I've had these before. They're supposed to come with sticks, but they're funny shaped sticks. I can't get the thing off now. Come on, universe, help me out today. Thank you. So yeah, they're funny shaped little sticks that sit in there, but you can stick ordinary sticks in, I believe. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. So it looks like that and then it has a lid and you can make lego men shaped ice lollies and i've sold that in the past although it was a couple of years back and then a little magnetic chess game this is a nice vintage little one does it come out of there no it's fixed into the box but i did count the pieces made sure all the little pieces were there so vintage magnetic chess and finally a type of, it's not a Filofax branded one, it says London Chamber of Commerce Thomas Cook Business Travel on there. I bought it because it was a bit vintage and it had a couple of interesting things in the back. So there's a couple of metal plaques in here. One says, it says in French, Messieurs, vous êtes pris de décharger vos armes avant d'entrer dans cet establishment, which is gentlemen are kindly requested to discharge their weapons before entering this establishment. And the other one says gentlemen players are requested to only wash their balls in the sinks provided, not elsewhere. <laughs> so they're golfing, golfing um, jokey plaques. But it's quite a nice folder, quite a nice organiser. It's leather. It's got quite a lot of vintage Filofax pages in it. I have absolutely no idea whether it was worth picking up or not. It's got some more Thomas Cook stuff. It's for 1990, so it's 32 years old. And what I have discovered is that although we know vintage Filofax is always good, that also sometimes vintage non-Filofax is also worth picking up. That's the haul and all of the haul. Except it's not, because there's another bit coming now, so hang on. Hello again. So I finished off yesterday's video. Wasn't going to go to the car boot today, bank holiday Monday, but I woke up early, had nothing much else that I needed to do urgently, so off I went. Got there so early, I was there before the sellers. I thought they set up at six, I got there at seven, they were only just going in. Excuse my hair, this morning's gone a bit weird. But I have got another small haul, so this is going to be a double small haul video. I have got to show you, this, this is the first thing I bought. These were four pounds, they are the SFR Vision roller skates, roller boots. I have bought and sold these in the past so I'm just taking the lid off bear with bear with they smell like they've come from a smoker's home unfortunately so they will require some freshening and that'll be a challenge with roller boots yeah um 
if we get some decent weather I'll put them out in the garden for a bit, spray them with some, with some Febreze and put them in the garden and see if that helps. But they're, apart from the smoky smell they're in really really good condition. The problem with buying it at a car boot is if you are outside or even, I mean we're in a large barn, you can't smell that smell of smoke until you get it home. Um, if you're in the open air you just don't notice it. They've had very little use I'd say, the wheels have, have they've been used but not very much and the front stop is absolutely unused so either the young person didn't wear them very much or the young person didn't use their front stop and just fell over maybe and maybe that's why they didn't want to keep them but the boots themselves absolutely mint condition really the actual body of the boot the only the only bit that shows any usage at all is the wheels and that's only a little bit of grubbiness they were four pounds and i expect to be able to sell them for 25 ish so all of this from one lady £2.50 for the Nike new, they're not Nike, I always say Nike and then change it to, and then change it to Nike New Balance. They're New Balance, they're not Nike. For the New Balance trainers, these are in lovely condition. I would say, looking at those soles, possibly unworn, there is not really a, a, even a, a sign of anywhere at all in the soles. Two fifty for those and then £10 for these four, they're all Cat Kidston. Got a little calf kidston purse. There were two purses, but one of them had obviously had a lot more usage and was quite grubby on the inside, so I left that one. But this one is in nice condition, so these work out at £2.50 per item, obviously, because I paid, paid a tenner for the four. A calf kids backpack. It has a couple of pen marks inside on the base, but apart from that, it's in very nice condition. The Calf Kidston Strawberry Laptop Bag. I don't know how many people are still using laptop cases. How many people are still using laptops and not, and not on... Yeah, I don't know. But that possibly looks unused or very little used. And then the last one is another kid's bag, but this one is a satchel style. So all four of those, £10 for the four. So I need to sell one for a tenner and I'm, uh, I'm in profit on the rest, aren't I? 50p for a potato eraser. Potato. Um, I saw this one. This was on Steve's store and I saw it yesterday. After I got my bundle of stuff and gone away, I saw this and didn't bother going back for it. Um, it's got all three discs. It's a Metal Tex one, which is a nice brand. And it's got all three of its different sized racing discs. Pleased to see that that was still there today after I kind of wished I bought it yesterday. And it was 50p. I did not get a bag out today to put something in, so I'm stacking them on the desk. I paid £1 for a pair of um, P&O Cruises Peninsula Club slippers. If you're a member of the Peninsula Club on um, P&O Cruises, which is once you've cruised once, the next time you go you're part of their loyalty club. At a certain level you get free slippers. And these, this lady must have been at that level for a while and gone on several cruises because she had four pairs. I nearly bought all four, but I couldn't remember what I sold. I have had them before and I sold a pair before, but I couldn't remember what I sold them for last time. So she wanted a pound a pair, I just bought one pair. And then I paid £10 for this. This is for myself. It is a Google Nest Mini. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, I've got Google in the kitchen. I've got an Echo Dot. Is an Echo Dot an Alexa? Anyway, I've got one of these in the kitchen, but I wanted one for my bedroom. I won't test her out now, because if I test her out now, I'll wake, um, wake other people up. Some people are still in bed asleep. But yeah, 10 quid for that lady was not budging on price. She was, I was like, she was like 10, and I was like, 7? She was like, no. 8? No. I was like, I'm not going to bother offering you 9. I was like, 10 then. Yeah, she was like, 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then... Now, I was really pleased to find these, Thinking of, speaking of things you buy for yourself, obviously they're, they are business related, not personal related, but these are um, just rolls of shrink wrap. You can put them on a dispenser. If you watch um, Mel at Back From Burn, she uses these a lot to wrap bum bundles of books. They're just very useful for keeping stuff together in your stock, let alone for packaging. Um, and the gentleman wanted 20p a roll. He had a big basket of them, so I got five of those at 20p each. I had actually been looking at uh, buying some of this recently on um, on Amazon and then didn't get round to it. So five of them, 20 peach. Everything you want turns up at the boot seller eventually. And then you also had a six pack of brown tape, which you want a pound for. So why wouldn't you? I mean, it's a pound a roll in, in the shops or whatever. So why wouldn't you? Two pound for a box of gloves, you know, um, poo picking up gloves, basically. <laughs> I have three dogs. These are. Blue poo gloves. We get through a fair amount of gloves in this house. 
And then finally, from the same gentleman that I got the tape and the stretch wrap from, these three items cost me a pound. So I've got a Walt Disney World tall glass, and these glasses have got a name for this shape, and I can't think what it is. If anybody knows, pop it in the comments for me, be grateful. So Walt Disney World established 71 glass. And then this one is also Disney. This is a 2005 Walt Disney World tankard. I don't think it's going to focus very well. There we go. And this is a Joy, I never know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're the same people who make the onion pods, the under stretch onion pods and things that I like. Banana hook. So it's got a little monkey and your bananas hang on there. Did you know you should not put your bananas in the fruit bowl with your other fruit? Because they exude a particular type of gas that will make your other fruit ripen overly quickly. However, if you have a piece of fruit which you wish to hurry on the ripening process, pop it in a bag with a banana, Bob's your uncle, bananas your aunt. Carla's top tip for life follow me for more tips and tricks i'm done that's it that really this really is the end of the video so if you didn't go away when i said it was the end last time you can go away now in the nicest possible way you are free to escape thank you for joining me i'll see you next time take care bye for now